Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. How is everyone today? I'm Sandy, and today we're going to transform an old shoe box into a gorgeous, glamorous keepsake box that you will want to show off to all your family and friends. To help us out with today's craft project, we will also need some additional materials available from either Dollar Tree or Dollarama. The materials include a rectangular mirror. This one comes with a frame and measures slightly smaller than the shoebox that we will be using. If your shoebox is smaller, you can opt for some frameless mirror tiles instead. We will also be using some dollar store craft paper. You can choose any design that you prefer. Mine will be a silver and grey zigzag design. I also picked up some silver glitter shelf liner. This one is a peel and stick version and this other one is a thicker fabric version that will require some glue to adhere. We will also need some ribbon. I have chosen this rhinestone ribbon I found on Amazon as well as these dollar store ribbon commonly used to wrap gifts during the holidays. For extra embellishments, I picked up some ornament S hooks. I found in the holiday section of the local dollar store. We will also be using some of these loose flat back gems. This container was purchased from Hobby Lobby and will likely last me for many years to come. To help us out with today's craft project, we will need an assortment of glue including some white glue that dries invisible, some clear tacky glue, some fix all, and our handy dandy hot glue gun which I purchased from Amazon. To begin, we are going to work on the inside of the shoe box by measuring out some craft paper to line the inside of the box. If you don't have any craft paper on hand, you could also opt for some felt fabric or shelf liner. And while we work on that, I would like to take a moment to thank all the returning viewers to my channel for tuning in to today's craft project. If you are visiting for the first time, I would like to extend a warm welcome. And if you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified of my future DIY craft videos. When applying the craft paper, you'll notice that I have chosen to use white glue instead of hot glue. The reason for this is that the hot glue is much thicker and will dry in clumps, but with white glue it is much thinner and you can use a foam brush to smooth out the glue out before applying the craft paper. This will ensure that when things dry, you will not have unsightly raised bumps. You'll notice here that when I measured out the craft paper, it is still not wide enough to cover the entire width of the box inside. So, to cover the exposed box area, I will be applying some silver glitter ribbon.
Once you are satisfied with the inside of the box, close the box with the lid and we'll work on beautifying the outside of the box. You'll see here that I've chosen some silver glitter fabric. This fabric is thicker than regular paper and will provide a smooth surface around the outside of the box for when we place our mirror. It took me a while to figure out the best way to measure out the fabric to minimize the number of seams that I will have to cover up. With this glitter fabric, it requires glue. You'll notice that I will be using a combination of hot glue and white glue. The reason for the hot glue is because it dries very quickly and works very well with thicker material. Since this silver glitter fabric is very thick, I'm using a very tiny amount of hot glue to anchor the end of the glitter fabric before adhering the rest of the fabric to the box with white glue. I still want to use white glue for adhering this glitter fabric to avoid, avoid any unwanted bumps created by dry hot glue. And you can see here, once again, I'm using a foam brush to smooth out the white glue before applying the glitter fabric. And you will see in a moment that the glitter fabric is not quite wide enough to cover the entire width of the box. So I have to cut a separate strip of glitter fabric to cover the remaining exposed area of the box. But don't worry about the seam. With the glitter, the seam will be practically invisible. You'll also notice that as I work the outside of the box, that I'm using two types of silver glitter paper. For the side flaps of the box, I have opted for the peel and stick version. This will give some contrast to the box as the peel and stick version is a lighter silver than the fabric version. And when covering the box, you can opt to leave the bottom uncovered since it will be sitting flat on the table surface. But if your shoe box happens to be unsightly, it may be a good idea to cover the bottom as well. Once the outside of the box is covered to your liking, it's time to apply the mirror onto the top cover of the box. Here you can see I have removed the frame from the mirror and I will apply the mirror directly to the top of the box. To ensure that the mirror is firmly secured to the box, I have chosen to apply some Fix-All, which will offer a more secure long-lasting hold. I also chose Fix-All over hot glue because I want to ensure that my mirror lays as flat as possible on the box surface. In the past, I have made the mistake of using hot glue to adhere mirrors to a surface, and because the hot glue tends to draw in clumps, the mirror was not sitting flat on the surface, and there were large unsightly gaps between the mirror and the surface that it was lying on. While the glue cures, we are going to work on covering the seams all around the edges of the box. I have chosen to use this silver pearl wrap ribbon as it is easy to work with. It is beautiful and will camouflage the edges very nicely.
you'll see as we work through all the seams that by covering them, it really gives it a nice clean touch. This silver ribbon is so easy to use and you can choose to use however many rows of pearls as you prefer. With the seams all covered, we are going to turn our attention to the mirror again. Without the frame, the mirror is looking quite plain. So we are going to apply some rhinestone ribbon to create a new frame all around the mirror. This rhinestone ribbon already comes with a sticky backing, so no additional glue is required. The nice thing about this ribbon also is that it is rather flexible and can be molded and adjusted to the shape you desire. And here is what the box looks like so far. The top and the sides look amazing and the lid opens and closes easily. And here I'm reinserting the rope handle which will make the box very portable. I felt like the box still needed more embellishments to amp up the glam factor, so I'm going to add some additional embellishments by applying these clear round flat back gems. This step of course is optional, but if you know me, the more bling the better. And as a finishing touch, we're going to use some clear tacky glue to apply these beautifully shaped silver ornament as hooks. You can apply them in any pattern you prefer using as many or as few as hooks as you like.
And here's the final look for our shoe box, transformed into a one-of-a-kind mirrored keepsake box. Comment down below and let me know what you would store in this box. Would you put it, put your favorite jewelry inside or perhaps some old family pictures? Or place it on your kitchen counter so you can store your family recipes. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, hit the notification bell and check out these next videos for more ideas on how to upscale, repurpose, and beautify old boxes that you may have lying around in the house.